Members on the House Homeland Security Committee held their first impeachment hearing for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Republicans say that they want the top Biden administration official out over the border crisis. Democrats say the move is nothing more than partisan politics. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with the latest. Eric. Well, good evening, Tracy. You know, House Republicans have lamb-blasted Secretary Mayorkas over what they are claimed to be a dereliction of duty as border crossings have reached record highs, laying the groundwork for impeachment proceedings. The attorneys general of Montana, Oklahoma, and Missouri shared stories of how the secretary's failed leadership has impacted their states. The most devastating impact of the open border on Montana has been the massive quantities of Mexican cartel fentanyl and methamphetamine. Illegal immigration costs Oklahoma taxpayers more than $750 million each year with a minimal offset return. Secretary Mayorkas swore an oath to faithfully execute the laws of our land. In Missouri, we remove officials who do not do their jobs because we have seen firsthand the catastrophic toll it takes on entire communities. Committee Chair Congressman Mark Green adds, And I briefly want to make it clear to the American people Secretary Mayorkas' refusal to follow the law is sufficient grounds for impeachment, impeachment proceedings. Democrats were quick to come to Mayorkas' defense. Ranking member Benny Thompson accused Republicans of rolling out their impeachment proceedings just in time for campaign season. Like a pre-planned, predetermined political stunt it is. This is not a legitimate impeachment. Republicans want to throw political red meat to their base and keep that campaign cash coming. Others tell me Republicans have a strong case. And I am proud of the work that we did here in the Homeland Security Committee. This was a thorough, concise, well thought out uh, investigation. It was one that was done in five phases. Senate Republicans are also eyeing removing the secretary. Last night, Democrats blocked a Republican effort to bring a motion of disapproval to the floor. He's lied to us. I mean, he, you know, I'm on Homeland Security. He said the border is secure. That's a complete lie. He said he had operational control of the border. Complete lie. He lied about Border Patrol and how they were treating people. Uh, and that's a complete dereliction of duty. So clearly he needs to go. If the Homeland uh, Secretary is impeached, it would be an extraordinary rare event. Only one cabinet official has been impeached in American history, and that's been nearly 100. 50 years ago. Tracy. Well, Eric, I understand there are more developments in the House Republicans' investigation into Hunter Biden. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, the House uh, Judiciary and Oversight Committees are separately marking up a report today laying out the GOP's case that Hunter Biden could be held in contempt of Congress. Now, Hunter actually showed up at one of the hearings today with his attorney, but he walked out of the middle of it. Hunter's attorney made a statement outside of the hearing telling reporters that Hunter wants to testify, but wants to do so in an open setting publicly. Hunter chose a hearing where Republicans could not distort, manipulate, or misuse that testimony. Honor, and then ignoring that invitation, and proving once again that they cared little about the truth and wanted only to, quote, move the needle of political support. Oversight Committee Chair Congressman James Comer said that Hunter doesn't get to dictate how he testifies and when he faces a congressional subpoena and must show up. Both Republican-led committees will likely recommend a full House vote on a contempt resolution. As a matter of fact, Oversight Security Committee voted 23 to 14 to hold Hunter in contempt. A full vote on the House floor is expected sometime next week. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.